If you have watched this video, then you have a basic understanding of root, its advantage, and disadvantage. In this same video, we had also rooted a Samsung device using Odin. What if you are using a device like Vivo, Oppo, Infinix, and much more similar to these companies, then the previous steps cannot work. Hello everyone, I welcome you all to a new video, where we will be going to root my Infinix device, model Hot 8x650C. Let's see how it will be done, and also we are going to find a way to install Lineage OS unofficial version. Before getting started make sure you have an SD card or a pen drive in your hand. Always remember, this process may lose your data, so take a backup of your storage and applications. Firstly, download the required tools by searching on Google. The required tools are TWRP, Orange State Disabler MTK only files. Sometimes, you may need a driver tool that will be valid for fast boot. You can find out the download links from my blog. Once you have specified tools ready, then open command prompt by clicking window plus R and type CMD and hit OK. Before running the command, let's enable USB debugging and also we have to enable OEM unlock. Before that, you have to enable it by following this path. Tap on settings then system then about phone and then tap a few times on build number, usually 7 to 9 times. Now, go back to the menu and you will see developer options is shown following. Now, enable them. Once you are done with it, connect the phone to the USB cable and type ADB devices to check if the device is recognized or not. Allow USB debugging on your phone. Now switch to fast boot mode using ADB Reboot Bootloader. Now my device is successfully switched to fast boot mode. Type fast boot devices to check if the device is recognized or not. On execution fast boot devices, if the device is not listed down then check for the system driver settings to find out if there is an issue with it. And I found the issue is with the driver, so we have to update the driver. Extract the fast boot driver zip file. Now switch to the device manager window and right click on Android and click on update driver. From here click on the manual procedure. From here click on here, and then click next. Now click on the hard disk and select the Android Win USB file from the extracted zip file. From here choose the Android bootloader interface and click next to install the driver without having trouble. Now issue the same command if the device is listed or not. To unlock the bootloader and enable partitions to be reflashed, run the fast boot flashing unlock command on the device. Press the volume up button to continue the process. Type fast boot get var unlock to check if we are succeeding or not. Now reboot the device using fast boot reboot. The reboot takes time to initiate. Due to the flashing unlock command the device reset, so we have to settings up the device again. Again, we have to allow USB debugging, which will help us to proceed with further steps. Now we have to flash the TWRP recovery software, which we have downloaded previously. Extract the zip file, where you find out two image files and a zip file. Now we have to flash these two image files, before that, we have to copy the mount system file to the micro SD card, and also two other files, Orange State Disabler MTK only, to disable Orange State, and Magisk Manager, to root the device. You can download the Magisk Manager APK file by searching on Google.
Now, copy them all to the micro SD card on your Android device. One important thing, you have to rename the Magisk Manager APK file to a zip file. Now, open the command prompt and run the ADB device's command to check if the device is listed or not. Now switch to fast boot mode. Now check if the device is recognized or not. If your device is not listed, then again update the driver. Now, type fast boot hyphen hyphen disable verity hyphen hyphen disable verification and flash the VB meta file and drag and drop the file path of the image file. Similarly, flash the recovery image. Once flashing is complete, Turn on your device using the power button along with the volume up button. You will display TWRP recovery. Now click on install and select the SD card. Now flash each of the files one by one. If everything was done without having an error, just reboot your system. This is the complete process to root this type of device. If you wish to install Lineage OS on an unlisted device, then you have to download the unofficial version from the XDA Developers Forum. Now, extract the downloaded file and copy the file to the microSD card of your Android device. Now, switch off your device and boot it into the recovery mode by pressing the volume up and power buttons simultaneously. You will see the TWRP screen. Now click on install and select the storage to SD card. From here, go to the path where the image file is stored. Before flashing the file, we have to wipe out everything except the micro SD card. Now swipe to factory reset which clears the cache, data, and Dalvik VM. Click the back button and select install. Now, click on the directory which was previously extracted. But you see there is nothing in this directory. So click on select image to switch mode to image mode, and you can find out the file on the screen. Now, select the system image partition to flash the image. Once the installation is complete, you will see the image flash completed message is shown on my screen. Click on Reboot System to reboot the phone. Once the device starts, you should see the Lineage OS screen. You will then see the usual Android system, 
and set it up according to your liking. If you wish to get root access, you have to flash the Magisk Manager zip file again. You can find out the procedure from this video, so click on the i button to get more information. If you have any doubts or queries related to this video, you can write me a comment in my comment section.